Hello everyone, Tom here. Thanks for tuning in to Joy and Route. I am at the Peace, Love, and Vans gathering at Withlacoochee River Park, which is near uh, Dade City in Florida, Central Florida. And I wanted to, you know, uh, get out and uh, give you a little bit of, t of a tour of the whole Peace, Love, and Vans get together. It is um, a presentation of Van Life Outfitters. Here's the um, the uh, folder that they uh, give you as you're coming in the door, or driving in the door, actually. Um, so, and there's a whole uh, two-day event schedule. Uh, comes with um, a map of the park. And on the back side is the schedule. So today is Sunday. So we are in day two of the gathering, the two-day gathering. Now people started arriving on Friday. So Friday afternoon, actually Friday at 11, the, uh, the gates swung open and vans started to be admitted. My understanding is that... Um, over 300 vans, Class B vans. This is a Class B van gathering, okay? Um, so Class B is the camper van, so you're looking at uh, Ford Transits, um, um, Ram Promasters, and uh, Mercedes Sprinters. So that's kind of what uh, is around here. There are other RVs here, don't get me wrong, but uh, because many people are here just to figure out what the whole Class B lifestyle is about and to visit with some of the vendors and uh, Embassy has a presence here uh, at the uh, gathering. So yeah, it's an educational event primarily uh, as well as a gathering uh, for those who already have Class Bs and just you know kind of wanted to get together and check out what the current state of the industry is and uh, how things are going. But here's the problem. Um, and we kind of saw this coming. Friday was a beautiful day. The temperature was in the, um, I want to say, low 70s. It was uh, partly to mostly cloudy. Uh, just enough sunshine to keep things warm. And um, But uh, the clouds were gathering, and uh, so too was the rain on its way. And as daylight uh, broke on Saturday morning... So too came the rain, and it has been nonstop ever since. We are now just passing 1 p.m. on Sunday, the last day of the event, and rain is not forecast to quit until about 11 p.m. tonight. So we arrived uh, to dry weather. We will uh, depart in um, uh, soggy conditions, uh, but um, clearing conditions, and so... For most of us, it's been a tremendous disappointment because we've not been able to socialize as much as we would like, and uh, many people have had to kind of just hang out in their van. I mean, it's just pouring, and um, so anyway, uh, yeah. Florida also, uh, apparently tick season is uh, well underway, and I found that I had a tick attached to my person last night. Boy, it's hard to kill those ticks. Um, I literally had to torch it with a, uh, a butane torch lighter to kill it. They are not uh, easy to dispatch. Uh, but it apparently had not been attached for any length of time. It let go immediately as I kind of scraped. Uh, it was sort of my mid-back uh, within reach. And um, as something... Um, seemed like it fell off of me. I was like, well, wait, what was that? And uh, tr turn on the lights and looked in my bed. I was already in bed. And there was this thing crawling. I was like, oh, my God. Uh, got out a little magnifying glass just to verify that it was a tick. It definitely was a tick. And it was a Lone Star tick. So if you're familiar with Lone Star ticks, you'll know exactly what I'm talking about. It was an unfed female Lone Star tick according to some uh, uh, tick identification chart that I looked at, uh, showing males, females, uh, fed and unfed, and that sort of thing. Uh, nymphs and the whole, the whole thing. Anyway, 
uh, like I say, I thought we'd uh, go ahead and uh, take a look at the uh, at the um, gathering, what's left of it. Uh, many people have been driving away. I've been seeing that happen all day because it's just nothing but rain. So kind of uh, a tremendous disappointment to most. Um, I'm going to hit my door here. And of course, I have a an umbrella that I'll pop open as soon as I get out there. And uh, then we'll just take it from there. So one of the first things I guess I'm going to note is, I mean, look at the mess I've got here at the entryway to Joy. It's just, uh, we're just tracking soggy grass in everywhere. Uh, but let's close and lock up and then we'll walk around the park and we'll see what's going on. Now, <laughs> it's funny, I'm looking at this um, situation and um, a lot of vehicles have left already. So we had um, this is Embassy Avenue and um, Terry Trail, Terry uh, being Terry Minix, the VP of um, the RV division at Embassy. And so there were rows of embassies here and this whole area was full. And as you can tell, people have been driving off. So uh, first thing I'll uh, just note is that there are uh, some uh, porta potty uh, stations uh, throughout the park. And, um, well, <laughs> what am I going to tell you? I mean, I'm not going to go looking inside of any of them, but uh, they're getting pretty gross. They were very clean and uh, whatnot. There's a hand washing station there to the right side of the, of the um, porta potties. Some people are thinking that the pink are for the ladies and uh, the rest are for the guys. I don't know. Uh, the big one uh, maybe is for handicapped, um, but they all, uh, except for the big one on the end, have, hey, <laughs> some fellow embassy friends. Um, th they all have urinals. So one of the ladies, as I was uh, waiting to get into one the other day, said, just use the pink ones. <laughs> I'm like, well, yeah, I've actually already done that because I know they have ur urinals in them. The color doesn't really seem to be gender specific here but even though many are interpreting it that way anyway um so yeah uh let's go ahead and and again there are a few of those uh, stations around but if if the others are like this particular one <laughs> yeah they're getting kind of gross and kind of full and um yeah i don't know of course many class b's have their own bathrooms built in so you can always use your own but uh, when you're in a, you know, a, a, a few-day event, you're kind of wanting to conserve your lavatory capacity. Uh, and uh, so we'll often just use uh, whatever is available. Uh, guys, I think, have a, have a little bit of an advantage in that department. Um, but, uh, yeah, it is what it is. So there's Joy again. And um, all of these here are embassy dolphins. There's a couple Winnebago's down here. I'm not sure how they got into our area, but uh, you know, whatever. We're a friendly bunch. We'll <laughs> let anybody in, right? Um, some people who are very well aware of the whole Class B RV space are um, aware of Sunshine State RV. And uh, so they have uh, some uh, kiosks here. It looks like some of them are being broken down already. No big surprise. Um, and here is another area uh, that, ha that is just for, uh, you know, general Class B parking. So, and there's still quite a few here. 
I believe this uh, big tree here is referred to as the talking tree, so sometimes people will gather there and, um, and uh, for some of the events. Uh, they had yoga here, and uh, there was a church service here this morning, which I think probably went on under the tent, would be my guess. Um, the uh, glazed and confused mini donuts is just one of many uh, food truck uh, operations in, um, in the park, and we'll probably see a couple more in a while. I think I'll come this way and show you the leafy lounge which is just kind of a cool little wooded area. I'm just swinging my umbrella here to flip the water off of it. Now I can smell food truck food. It smells kind of greasy. <laughs> the smell of um, uh, seed oil fryers going along, so that's really helpful, right? Okay, I'm being a little facetious there with that one. Some people will get that, maybe others don't have a belief in that. I'm not here to preach. Somebody's got a generator running here. That's how some people get their power. Yeah, so here's the Leafy Lounge. They did uh, some wars here on the, on the first night. I think they had some music in here last night. I don't know, it was just pouring down rain, so I didn't come over here. But it's a beautiful little area in the back here. It was really pretty at night with the lights and everything. Beautiful trails through here. Um, had the situation uh, been different, I would have really enjoyed going out on the nature walks. I talked to someone who went out on one, and, uh, on the only one that was on. It was going to be an hour and a half hike, but uh, they made it about halfway and just turned around and came back. So I guess they cut their time in half, but it was still quite a, a long walk for them. Uh, and of course they returned because it was just, they were just getting... Uh, completely, I don't know, waterlogged, tired of dealing with the rain. And so, I mean, I get it. I totally get it. Looks like there may be some people with tents over here or something. I don't know. Not really the kind of weather I would want to be tent camping in, but some people will do it regardless of the weather, and that's, you know, that's, that's their jam. So that's, that's very cool, and I hope they're having a good time. My umbrella wasn't really fully deployed there. It just kind of popped up. All right, we've got a sprinter coming through. It's for sale. Hey, guys. I wonder if he got any interest while he was here. Now, we're coming into the vendor area here. So here's Odyssey Custom Vans and... Um, We'll see more, I'm sure. Again, the embassy has a presence here, so they brought one of their Dolphin SS models down the, uh, on a Ram Promaster. Uh, we see so many Ford Transit-based um, embassies, and actually, here's one here. I don't know why they're why this one is up here uh, from Nebraska. Okay, I don't know who this is. No clue. Um, and let's see so uh, live more camper vans so there's uh, another vendor and here is uh, rover vans hey there uh, van wife vanwifecomponents.com check them out if you're in that space i guess <clears throat> Vans East, looks like they have one for sale. Backwoods Adventure Mods. 
Here is a Winnebago Echo. That's the, their class, one of their Class Bs. Or uh, actually Class C. Maybe, yeah. And this is uh, Embassy's Class B on display. This has some differences from the Ford Transit that uh, I have. They have a roof air conditioner here, so that's uh, way different from me. And they have the, uh, the tent option, the rear porch, that has a platform. You can see someone going up the steps there to get in. And, uh, of course, you can close the door and it's uh, waterproof. And uh, there are covers for the uh, cargo uh, doors that keep the rain out of the door. So, very cool. Uh, let's see, uh, moxivanco.com, moxivans. Ah, uh, yeah. Defiance tools and groove vans. So lots of uh, folks here showing off their vans. And then there's the food trucks. Uh, these folks have uh, lobster rolls, I think, maybe. Or maybe just crab cakes or something. Uh, there was another uh, lobster truck here on the Friday that we all arrived. And just as soon as I drove in, uh, Sherry, one of our um, embassy owners and wannabes, administrators on the Facebook group uh, was also here doing uh, van check-ins for our area and she was like and they're selling lobster rolls over there you should go check out a lobster roll so I'm like okay so I went over there and I told the guys I said everybody said I gotta go get a lobster roll so they were like oh yeah, yeah, yeah. okay so I had a nice lobster roll very good it's not all about vans hiking socks towels Again, there's another porta potty station over there. Not clear what uh, critter may have made this hole, or if it's in there, but uh, that's quite a little hole. And yeah, so that's um, kind of the situation here at uh, Peace, Love, and Vans at Withlacoochee River Park at uh, Dade City, uh, uh, Florida. Uh, a total rain out, but there's still a few people hanging around. I will be staying here uh, tonight and will be driving away in the morning, uh, at which time apparently the rain will have finally come to an end. Uh, but it's just such an extraordinary shame that there had to be rain all weekend, all Saturday, and so far all day Sunday. Ah, darn it. Victron Energy, another uh, big um, uh, vendor here for the, and sponsor for the event. There's a stage here, a, a sound stage. Uh, we had a uh, couple of uh, artists come in on Friday night and Saturday night. Don't think there's going to be anything here Sunday night, but I don't know, maybe I could be wrong. I should look at the schedule. But, uh, yeah, there's some event going on over here. And we're kind of back to the birds of a feather area of Peace, Love, and Vans, where we get back to Embassy Row or Embassy Avenue. And we'll find joy down at the end here. I think I'm actually... Yeah, I'm right down here. Somebody drugged something. Hi there. Somebody drugged something down the line here. I don't know what it is. Looks like it's still down there.
So, oops. That looks to have been a mistake. That happened pretty recently because that uh, stripe wasn't there when. Uh, hi. Hi. <laughs> hi. <laughs> okay, well, there we go. Hope you enjoyed the little tour of the um, event grounds, and uh, we'll see you in the next video. So right on cue, as we all departed the park, the sun came out and it was a beautiful sunny day and the Daytona 500 race uh, did its thing and yeah. But um, the organizers of the Peace, Love and Vans event uh, proclaimed it uh, as a complete and total success and I guess I can't blame them. Uh, they really need uh, it to be a success so that people will keep coming back year after year and uh, it, it was a, a really good event. It was a, you know, if there's anything that anybody had a complaint about, it was really just the rain. And so that was kind of a disappointing element to deal with. But it was also kind of heartening that whenever there was a slight decrease in the intensity of the rain, everybody came out of their vans and got together and chatted uh, with each other and learned from each other and found out what's coming next for each other and you know a little bit of fellowship there uh, went a long way and I, I think that was probably one of the biggest draws to a thing like this aside from maybe wanting to learn a little bit more about what's going on in the class B space so it was in fact a resounding success even though the rain made it rather soggy. So uh, thanks for watching, and uh, uh, don't forget to like and subscribe. We're getting really close to that 1,000 uh, subscriber mark, after which maybe Google will pitch in for a little gas money so that we can continue the adventures. So uh, if you wouldn't mind just uh, subscribing, if you haven't already, uh, that would be really great. And if you have subscribed, hey, thanks a lot. Really appreciate it. Um, and uh, thanks for watching the video, and we'll catch you in the next one.